Hey y'all, so I'm going to show you how I made this super fun, easy bean stitch clutch. Now you can add a chain to it and hold it and be able to carry it like a purse or you can just use the lobster clamp and use it like a wallet. It's really up to you. This clutch will have a liner and I'll show you how I did all of that in this video. So we're going to start by using a six millimeter crochet hook, which is completely optional. You can use whatever size hook you want and you're going to start by making yourself a slip knot. Okay, once you have your slip knot created, go ahead and place that on your crochet hook. And you're going to make yourself a foundation chain in an odd number. Now I'll put my instructions, my pattern over on my blog if you want to make exactly what I created. But if not, just make sure you measure your lobster clamp and then create a foundation chain in the width of that, um, in, the, in the width of that clamp, okay? So go ahead and make your foundation chain, making sure you use an odd number. And then once you have it, then you're going to um, skip the first two stitches and into the third stitch we're going to start our bean stitch. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, I'm using a smaller crochet hook, but I'll try to zoom in a little bit here. In that third stitch, you're going to create your first bean stitch. So insert your crochet hook, okay, yarn over and pull up a loop or pull through a loop. Now you should have two on your crochet hook. Now I'm gonna do this very slowly, guys, but the, all the other stitches won't be this slow. Yarn over, and then you're gonna insert that right back into that same stitch. Okay. Pull back through. Now you should have four loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over, insert the crochet hook back into that same exact stitch. You're going to pull back through. Now at this point, you should have six loops on your crochet hook. Okay, now that you have six, you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all of those six loops. All right. And then you're just going to finish it off by doing a chain stitch and that's what you got there. That's your first bean stitch, okay? Now you're going to skip one stitch and into the next stitch you're going to do another bean stitch. Insert your crochet hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert the same stitch, yarn over one more time into the stitch and you should have six loops. Very good. Yarn over and then pull through and then just finish it off. And you'll continue this all the way down your foundation chain. Skipping a stitch in between each bean stitch. Okay, so now is a good time if you wanna go ahead and pause your video and continue working until you get closer to the end. When you get to the end, just turn me back on and then I'll show you how I finish off the row. Okay, so here we are, we're gonna skip a stitch and in that very last stitch of the row, we're gonna create another bean stitch. So basically, at the end of every row, you will have a bean stitch. This is a very fun, very satisfying stitch. I enjoy doing this one, I enjoy doing the alpine stitch, but, and the bead stitch are really fun. So chain two, turn your work, and then let's get started on our next row. So let me show you. So you pull your work apart just a little bit and next to each bean stitch, you should see like a little spot that looks like a V. It's a very wide, it's like a space there. You're gonna put your next, all of your bean stitches are gonna go into those V spaces. That's the best way I can describe them. So just like we did in that first row, you're gonna insert your crochet hook and just continue doing it till you get six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all six loops, and then you're gonna fasten, not fasten off, but do a chain stitch, and then go to your next stitch. Okay, and again, again, with this row, just like my first row, I'm not gonna stay on camera for this whole time, but I am gonna show you just a few more times to so show you how to do it. So that's what it should be looking like. Let's do it one more time. And then if you wanna pause your video and then get a little bit further along, I'll check back in just to show you how far along I've gotten. Okay, 
Okay, so this is what it looks like as your, as your work starts to grow. And you're just going to continue doing this until you get to your desired length. And now rem remember, because we're making a clutch or a wallet, when you fold it in half, that's the, that's actually going to be the length of your project. So you're going to make this and then you're going to fold it in half. And that's going to be, that's going to determine how, um, the length of your actual wallet. Okay. So here is a lobster clamp. You're going to need one of these. I got this one from Amazon. I'll link in the description box below. Super cool, easy to open, and they come in a variety of colors. You'll need a sewing needle with a large eye. I use this floss thread, but you can also use yarn. And I also used an optional gun, um, glue gun. Okay. So once you have decided and you've gotten your swatch, to, this, to, uh, to the size you want, to the length and width that you need, we're gonna start to attach this to the lobster clamp. Okay, so I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm the best sewer, but this one's not difficult. I started by inserting the sewing needle through the yarn, the swatch, and then I, then I put it through the lobster clamp, okay? And I just kind of like a whip stitch all the way down so don't get discouraged in the very beginning it's a little bit more you know um, you gotta work with it a little bit but then as you work along it gets a lot easier and I started at the top then work the sides the bottom and then I did the other side okay um, let me give you a tip now I do add a liner to this you can add the liner at this step here if you want. I found it easier not to do it here because I was trying to see the holes and it was easier for me to see the holes through the yarn. So I added my liner after I sewed it all down. You don't have to do that. That's completely up to you how you decide to attach your liner. But I did my liner after I sewed my crochet swatch down. Okay, so this is what it kind of looks like halfway mark when I've gotten it sewn to one side. Then I'm going to line up the bottom portion to the clamps, to the holes on the other side of the lobster clamp, and then I'm going to sew that down. So that makes sense. So I basically I sewed the top along the side, and then I sewed the other bottom portion of the swatch to the other half of the lobster clamp. So here I'm just showing you how I attach it to the sides. The same way I attached it to the top, I attached it to the sides. Making sure, now listen, make sure that when you're working this, guys, that you give yourself some um, slack in your crochet material. Don't pull it too tight because when you get to the other side, you won't have enough fabric and you'll end up with a really stretched looking um, clutch. Instead of the pattern being able to really show through, it'll be stretched. So um, just give yourself some slack while you're working your project, okay? And you'll understand it. As you start working, it will make more sense. Okay, so you see there I have a gap on both sides. Now, you can either make your swatch a little bit wider, but in my case, it worked out perfectly because I ended up doing a row of slip stitches and a row of single crochet stitches, and it worked out fine. So I'll get back to that in a second. Let's talk about this liner. So before I actually sewed everything down, I went ahead and cut my felt liner to the size of my swatch, okay? So that way when I went to glue it down and make sure that it's secured, I just kind of tucked it down to the bottom and then I tucked the tops along the edging of the lobster clamps. And I did that with a really um, small a screwdriver you don't have to do that that's just what I did okay so I ran some glue along the top edge of the liner I use this small little screwdriver here if you don't have that you can use a paper clip or a bobby pin the end of a bobby pin and I just kind of push the fabric up underneath that um, up underneath the lobster clamp until it's stuck easy piece of you guys and that's how I did my liner super simple so to close up the bag on the sides like I said before I just did a row of slip stitches 
and then when I got to the bottom I did a row of single crochet stitches so I just chained one turned my work and then just did a row of single crochet stitches and that brought my clutch out to the width that I needed it to okay and that's and that's exactly what I wanted because I didn't want um, there to be a gap between the um, lobster claw and the actual fabric okay and that's pretty much how it looks once I got back up to the top after I worked my row of single crochet stitches I just tied the yarn together fastened off and then just sewn in my tails so as you can see here you see how it's flush that was a row of slip stitches and a row of single crochet stitches and that's it guys that's how I made my bean stitch clutch it was so much fun so easy to do and I'm so glad I was able to share this project with you if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below for written instructions please head over to my blog ashalan.com and that's it I will see you all in my next video thanks for watching bye